What do the top superfoods like red wine, green tea, kale and blueberries all have in common? The answer is quercetin, a natural compound tied to what all of us seek. Better longevity, heart health, endurance, immunity and more. Quercetin is considered to be one of the most widely distributed and extensively studied flavonoids, according to a 2018 review. It's been shown in dozens of studies to have anti-carcinogenic, anti-inflammatory and antiviral activities. Quercetin is a type of flavonoid antioxidant and is found in plant foods, including leafy greens, tomatoes, berries and broccoli. Is technically considered a plant pigment, which is exactly why it's found in deeply coloured, nutrient-packed fruits and vegetables. Considered one of the most abundant antioxidants in the human diet, quercetin plays an important part in fighting free radical damage and the effects of ageing and inflammation. According to the Department of Pathology and Diagnostics at the University of Verona in Italy, Quercetin glycosides and other flavonoids are antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic agents. They have the potential to be expressed positively in different cell types in both animals and humans. Flavonoid polyphenols are most beneficial for down-regulating or suppressing inflammatory pathways and functions. Quercetin is considered the most diffused and known nature-derived flavanol that there is, showing strong effects on immunity and inflammation caused by leukocytes and other intracellular signals. Research shows that anti-inflammatory foods containing quercetin can help manage a number of inflammatory health problems, including heart disease and blood vessel problems, allergies, infections, chronic fatigue and symptoms related to autoimmune disorders like arthritis. It all comes down to high antioxidant foods' ability to be scavengers of free radicals. As a major bioflavonoid in our diet, quercetin helps to slow the ageing process because it lessens the effects of oxidative stress on the body. Oxidative stress takes place in all of us, but it's increased by things like poor diet, high levels of stress, a lack of sleep and exposure to chemical toxins. Quercetin plays a role in regulating the immune system's response to outside stressors through cell signalling pathways called kinases and phosphatases, two types of enzymes and membrane proteins that are needed for proper cellular function. Flavonoids, including quercetin, are important anti-inflammatories because they act as antioxidants, which means they literally fight the natural process of oxidation that takes place over time as we age. Quercetin can help stop damaging particles in the body, known as free radicals, which negatively impact how cells work, including damaging cell membranes, changing the way that our DNA works, increasing cell mutations, and causing healthy cells to die. It can also reduce the expression of inflammatory genes such as interleukin. Research now shows that inflammation is the root of most diseases, including heart disease, cancer, cognitive decline, some mental disorders and autoimmune disorders. Practitioners and patients report using quercetin to effectively fight conditions related to inflammation like hardening of the arteries, high cholesterol, heart disease and circulation problems, insulin resistance and diabetes, eye-related disorders including cataracts, allergies, asthma and hay fever, stomach ulcers, cognitive impairment, gout, viral infections, inflammation of the prostate, bladder and ovaries, chronic fatigue syndrome, cancer, chronic infections of the prostate, skin disorders including dermatitis and hives. Some consider it to be a natural antihistamine and an anti-inflammatory, possibly making it effective for lowering the effects 
of seasonal and food allergies, plus asthma and skin reactions. Histamines are chemicals that are released when the immune system detects an allergy or a sensitivity, and they're what account for uncomfortable symptoms that we face whenever the body has an allergic reaction. Quercetin can help to stabilise the release of histamines from certain immune cells, which result in decreased symptoms like coughs, watery eyes, runny nose, hives, swollen lips or tongue, and indigestion. It's long been used in ancient Chinese herbal formulas created to block allergies to certain foods like peanuts. Studies conducted on mice suggest that it may be equivalent at fighting allergies to some prescription medications, also having little to no side effects. Because of its ability to lower inflammation and oxidative stress, quercetin seems to be beneficial for people with heart and blood vessel related disorders, according to a number of studies. For example, eating lots of deeply coloured fruit and vegetables that contain flavonoids is linked to a lower risk of cardiovascular disease and even death in older adults, among reduced risk for vascular diseases. It's also been connected to reduced risk of type 2 diabetes and obesity, which have many of the same risk factors as heart disease. Studies done in animal and some human populations show that various types of flavonoids like quercetin, resveratrol and catechins can help to reduce the risk of atherosclerosis, which is a dangerous condition caused by plaque building up within the arteries. Cut off blood flow in the arteries is one of the primary risk factors for experiencing a heart attack or a stroke, which is why cardiac arrest is less likely among people who eat a nutrient-packed diet. Antioxidants also seem to protect the body from experiencing increases in LDL or bad cholesterol, and they can help regulate blood pressure levels. Certain studies show that quercetin prevents damage to LDL cholesterol particles, and it seems that people who eat the most flavonoid-rich foods typically have healthier and lower cholesterol levels, plus fewer incidences of hypertension and high blood pressure. Taking quercetin supplements may help to lower pain that's associated with autoimmune conditions like arthritis, as well as infections, including those of the prostate and the respiratory tract. That's because studies suggest that quercetin reduces inflammatory pain. For example, there's some evidence from several small studies that people experiencing bladder pains from infections have fewer symptoms when taking quercetin supplements. Flavonoids are also linked to reduce symptoms of prostitutes, which is inflammation of the prostate, and rheumatoid arthritis. There's evidence that when a patient with rheumatoid arthritis switches from eating a typical Western diet to one higher in antioxidant-rich foods, that they experience less pain and reoccurring of their symptoms. Quercetin is added to some athletic supplements because it's believed to help increase athletic performance and endurance, likely because of its positive effect on blood flow. Researchers from the School of Applied Physiology at the Georgia Institute of Technology found that on average, quercetin provides a statistically significant benefit in human endurance exercise capacity, the VO2 max, and endurance exercise performance. While improvements were at times small, it makes sense that antioxidants could boost physical performance since they help increase the health of blood vessels, which carry oxygen and nutrients to muscles and joint tissue. Other studies also show that it helps to increase immune function and prevent susceptibility to illnesses that occur when someone trains intensely and experiences exhaustion. One study found evidence that taking 500 milligrams of quercetin twice a day helped to protect cyclers from developing exercise-induced respiratory infections following periods of heavy exercise. A Boston University School of Medicine study published in the Journal 
of biological regulators and homeostatic agents shows a link between a nutrient-dense diet rich in quercetin plus other antioxidants and a lower risk of cancer. Quercetin seems to have potential chemo-preventative activity and it might have a unique anti-proliferative effect on cancerous cells, making it an effective addition to any natural cancer treatment approach. Research shows that this may result from the modulation of either EGFR or estrogen receptor pathways. Recent studies have found quercetin can help stop the process involved in cell proliferation and mutation, the growth of tumours and symptoms related to typical cancer treatments, such as radiation or chemotherapy. At this time, the majority of studies on quercetin's effect on cellular functioning have involved animals, so more research would still be needed to reveal specific effects on human cancer cells. This is especially true when taken in high doses which are above the amount that someone would normally get from a healthy diet. Capable of blocking mast cells, which are immune cells critical in triggering allergic reactions, inflammatory disease and autoimmune disease, research shows that quercetin helps to protect skin from the effects of disorders like dermatitis and photosensitivity. Flavonoids like quercetin block the release of many pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-8 and TNF which helps to stop symptoms related to skin inflammation even in people who do not find relief from other conventional treatments or prescriptions. Studies have found that this compound has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects that help fight allergic and inflammatory diseases as well as some prescriptions when taken in oral supplement form. For example, some people take quercetin for eczema since it can inhibit the secretion of histamine and pro-inflammatory markers. Recent research has shown that this antioxidant has protective effects when it's administered to rats with alcohol-induced acute liver injury. The research has concluded that quercetin by multiple mechanism interplay demonstrates hepatoprotective effect on liver injury that's induced by alcohol by increasing ethanol metabolizing enzyme activities, by increasing antioxidant system activities against oxidative stress and by lowering the expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines. A 2017 study found evidence indicating that quercetin attenuates liver inflammation and fibrosis in mice through inhibiting macrophage infiltration. Researchers believe that it holds promise as a potential therapeutic agent for human fibrotic liver disease, which is a condition triggered by liver injury and inflammation. There's mounting evidence showing that quercetin offers neuroprotective benefits due to its ability to defend the brain against oxidative stress and inflammation, leading to potentially less risk for cognitive conditions like Alzheimer's disease and dementia. A 2018 study concluded that findings suggest a possible new protective role for dietary flavonoids on Alzheimer's disease. The study found that administration of quercetin in early to middle stages of Alzheimer's disease pathology ameliorates cognitive dysfunction and it boosts the protection related to the increased clearance and reduction of astrogliosis, which is related to the destruction of neurons. All types of red, green and purple pigmented plants compact with quercetin. For example, red wine, blueberries, apples, red onions and even green tea are some of the best sources. Quercetin is actually believed to be most abundant flavonoid in the human diet, but the amount found in plants can vary a lot depending on where they're grown, how fresh they are, how they're prepared and so on. Some of the top sources of quercetin to add to your diet can include apples, peppers, red wine, dark cherries and blueberries, tomatoes, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage, 
leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale. Some of the most common types of dietary supplements include quercetin 3, quercetin 3 glucoside, quercetin aglycone, isoquercetin, quercetin 7 rutinicide, and quercetin 3 0 rhamnicide. Some quercetin supplements are also labelled as quercetin dihydrate, which is mostly insoluble in water and may not be absorbed as well as the other kinds. There isn't a daily recommended amount of quercetin intake, so dosage recommendations can vary depending on your health condition. Estimates show that most people typically get between 5 and 40 milligrams per day from eating common plant foods. However, if you stick with a nutrient-dense diet overall, you're likely to take in much more, as much as 500 milligrams daily, according to some reports. Optimal doses of quercetin have not been established for any specific condition by the FDA or any other governing health authority at this time. So it's up to you and your doctor to decide what amount works best for you. For people who turn to quercetin supplements, common oral doses are 500 milligrams taken twice daily. But it's also possible to experience benefits when taking lower doses. Quercetin supplements are available in all types of pills or capsules and are commonly used in formulas along with other anti-inflammatory ingredients. For example, quercetin with bromelain, which is an anti-inflammatory enzyme found in pineapple, may be taken to help manage allergies. This may be labelled as a quercetin complex formula, which is a synergistic formula that's intended to offer additional antioxidant or anti-aging support. Because it's derived naturally from foods, quercetin seems to be safe for almost everyone and poses little risk. According to a 2018 report, most studies have found little to no side effects in people eating nutrient-dense diets high in quercetin or taking supplements by mouth short term. Amounts up to 500 milligrams taken twice daily for 12 weeks appear to be safe. In very high doses, there's some risks. Side effects can include headaches and tingling of the arms and legs. Very high doses taken intravenously have also been linked to cases of kidney damage, although this seems rare. For women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, it doesn't seem to have any negative effects although there hasn't been much research done in this population, so it's always a good idea to talk it over with your doctor first. Quercetin is a type of flavonoid antioxidant that's found in plant foods, including leafy greens, tomatoes, berries and broccoli. It's technically considered a plant pigment, which is exactly why it's found in deeply coloured, nutrient-packed fruits and vegetables. Along with other flavonoids, it's been shown to have antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic effects. Using quercetin for allergies is one of the most common reasons that people take this compound in supplement form. Quercetin supplements and foods might help reduce inflammation, fight allergies, support heart health, combat pain, potentially improve endurance, fight cancer and protect the skin and liver health. Some of the top quercetin foods include apples, peppers, red wine, dark cherries, tomatoes, cruciferous and leafy green vegetables, citrus fruit, whole grain, legumes, herbs and more. Potential quercetin side effects could include headache and tingling of the arms and legs, especially if taken at high doses, although this is rare.